I come bearing gifts. Hiya. Oh, are you a sight for sore eyes? It's good to have you back. And I'll second that. Well, well, wonders never cease. Usually you lot can't wait to see the back of me. Now all of a sudden I'm the best in since sliced bread. Crisis makes the heart grow fonder. Ah, sorry, we don't use the C word round here now, do we? Now, I understand that there's been a few issues in my absence. I'd just like to assure you all, I'll be making it my first priority. All right then, back to work. I'll be coming to touch base with you individually throughout the day. Should I ask Rosie to come in, Mrs. Connor? Oh, no need. I'm sure we'll catch up separately. Besides, I'd plan to visit anyway. Oh, I'm sure she'd really appreciate that. Oh, before I forget. You won't have to call me Mrs. Connor for much longer. We're tying the note next week. Yeah, and you're all invited. And that means everyone. This is everything, isn't it? Business and personal. So we're looking at about 600 grand in the red overall. The bulk of it's my share of the Victoria Street flats mm. and the buy into this place. Could be worse. It could be. All right, you. What have you got that's liquid? Aside from a few shares in this suit, nothing. Oh, no matter what happens, the suit stays. So we still hit the gutter in style. Tony. Carla, I'm hanging on my fingertips here. Giles is reaching for the nearest parachute. I've got creditors around the block, no assets. You've got me. We are getting through this together. Some partner I turned out to be. Yeah, well, touch wood. I'll make a better husband. Or else. Kevin! Hiya. I just want you to know how overjoyed I was to hear Rosie were back home safe. It's, uh, you must be. Well, I've got a million things what I'm doing here. All right, I'll just I'll let you get on. All right, cheers. Oh, um, would it be all right if I popped over to yours to see how she's doing, say, sometime this evening? Uh, today's probably not a good day. Later in the week, then? Oh, we'll play it by you. I'll tell Rosie who's asking about her. Thanks. I asked Kevin Wilson when I could go around and see Rosie, and I got the distinct impression he wanted to throw with the idea. Well, why do you want to go around and see her anyway? Between us? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, she kind of saw me and Liam together. Together, together. Right, OK. So what's the occasion? It's Friday. It is Friday. But that's not the occasion for the bubble, eh? Me and Tony are getting married next week. <gasps> oh, congratulations! Oh, it's a bit sudden, isn't it? Yeah, well, in case you don't notice, I'm a very impulsive woman. To the love of my life. Cheers. Yeah, why don't you join us? Hey, there's plenty more where this came from. Steve's just gone down the cellar for another box, look. Yeah, tell him to get a shift on. <laughs> Hiya. Do you mind if I talk to you for a second? I just like how it's not best I won't take a minute. Where's your mum and dad? Out shopping. How are you, anyway? Okay, thanks. I must say, you look very well considering. I don't even like to think of what you've been through. Either. You know, there are some very twisted people out there. Oof. You made me jump. What are you doing here, darling? Just checking up on our girl here. I had a visit from some sleazoid journalist. Told them where to go, but these jokers don't give up too easily. You're obviously a young lady who inspires loyalty, Rosie, aren't you? Yeah. Makes me feel really special. Pity we didn't get to catch up, really, but maybe we can do it when you're back at work, eh? Actually, 
Um, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh? I was wondering if maybe you'd give me a pay rise. Fine. We'll talk it over, though, yeah? Well, I must dash. I've got a wedding to plan. Oh, is it still on? <laughs> Of course it is. You don't think I'd be stupid enough to let a man like this get away, do you? Hmm? Mm. See you later. Bye, Carla.